Hello and welcome to the next in our series of Drinking from the Fire Hose videos. As always, I'm presenting with Roger Wilcox, who you'll see shortly. And this time, this week, we're actually going to focus on a subject with employee voice. So basically encouraging a two-way dialogue. And this builds on probably our most uh, popular video so far, which was in being an engaging manager. So this is now really how do you engage your uh, team further. So without further ado, I'm going to dive into the goals for this. So why do you want to do this? So really the, the, the purpose, the goal here is to develop an engaged and empowered team uh, within your organization, driving a culture of continuous improvement. So it's really to get the employees fully engaged and fully part of this process. So that, that is the overall goal here. Why engaged team members are far more likely to identify and implement improvements. So if they're in fully engaged, you will get a lot more out of them. Sounds obvious, but it's just one of these things that, you know, the more they're engaged, the more you'll get. And actually the more they will embrace a culture of change. Because uh, sometimes change is a little bit frightening. The more engaged they are, the easier that process will be. It also develops confidence and belief in the team. You know, if they're fully engaged, they'll believe they can make a change. They'll believe they can play a valuable part in that, which makes it easier. And it just also ensures you're really getting the full potential out of each and every member of your team, uh, which obviously makes the change process so much easier. And the final one in there is just to make sure that you know, your, your teams genuinely believe that they, their voice has been listened to, and that will help them drive towards your strategic goals. So again, one of our earlier videos was around the strategic goal. It will be much easier for the team to buy in if they feel that their voice has been listened to and their concerns are, are there and they're a genuine valued part of the process. So now over to Roger uh, for the, the current performance. Yeah, hi everyone. Well, what we'd like you to do now is to actually make an honest assessment of how effective the two-way dialogue is within your team. So firstly, how vocal are your team members? Do you actively seek out their views and listen and act on their responses? Do you see disagreements taking place? So the question is, are the team members able to carry on a conversation when each party does disagree? And are they able to use positivity and different skills to come out of it in a win-win way forward? Do you have an established process to make it easy to raise ideas and concerns? And importantly for leaders, does your coaching style encourage or restrict engagement? Can you actually create two-way dialogue. So when you engage with your team, is it in a one-way type way where you're telling people what to do in a kind of directive way? Or is it truly two-way collaborative, listening, understanding, responding? Finally, what do you and your leadership team do to encourage engagement within your teams? So those are some critical questions I'd encourage you to ask yourself, do that honest assessment and just see where are you just now. So back over to Murray to tell us how to achieve the goal. Okay, thanks for that, Roger. So as always, we'll, we'll cover more uh, ways to achieve this in the longer version, but in the shorter version, we're just going to cover a few of these. And probably the top one is you want to make it as easy as possible for team members to raise ideas and raise concerns. What you want to avoid, uh, in, in my view, is you don't just want a suggestion scheme where people see a problem and hand it off and feel like they've done their job. You want them to own that problem as well. So own the issue, own the solution and drive it forward. And as we've spoken about before, they may not have the full answer, but at least they're engaged enough to go and find other people to help them and drive this forward. And actually the satisfaction will be much greater if they own the, the solution as well as the problem. So make it easy for them to do that. And the longer version, we'll talk a little bit more about a piece of software, a tool we have to help that. And we'll put the link to the, the tool in the comments, but we'll cover that in the longer version. So that, that actually helps you with your systematic approach. You want a very clear systematic way to raise an idea and drive it forward. So that helps engage them. Another key part of engaging them is, and Roger sort of touched on this earlier in the current performance, thinking about your own personal style. You know, are you a good listener? as a leader and are you, you know, demonstrating excellent coaching uh, style or abilities? Because that's very, very important. If, if you're very directive, perhaps you're shutting down some good ideas and it challenges to what is being done at the moment. So 
the more you can coach and listen, the chances are the much more you'll get out of the team uh, and the much more in- engaged they will be. Roger, anything you'd like to add to this one? Yeah, I think critical for me about that employee voice and creating that two-way dialogue is actually creating opportunities to engage in two-way dialogue. So we've talked earlier in our uh, previous videos about a number of things. So go see and assesses, also about the daily huddles and war rooms. And again, I know in a longer video, we're going to be talking a bit more about those, uh, but those are real, real opportunities for you as a team leader to go engage with your team, listen, as Murray said, you know, that important skill of listening to your team. So yeah, absolutely. That's another one. I think we're, we're going to talk a bit more about how to achieve that using those uh, different things. Okay. Thanks for that, Roger. So, you know, as, as we say, we'll cover more in the, the, the longer video the, than we do in the short version. So just moving quickly on to the activation, what can you go and do right now uh, and just drive this forward a little bit? I think the first thing for me would be go and have a look at your current process. Well, actually, number one, do you have a process? If you do, have a look at it. Is it working? Is it still relevant? And the relevant part comes up in a lot of conversation just now, given that the majority of us are working from home, you're not in the office environment, Is that process you have still relevant? Does it still work when your workforce are working remotely? Uh, So there's a good sort of sense check in there. And possibly even worth doing a little mini survey. And this is something we can help with. We'll talk about it again in the, the longer version. But even a very informal, simple survey how do your team feel? Do they feel that their voice is being heard? Do they feel that they're they're a valued part of this? Uh, You may not like the answer, but then that's something to to feed off and something to drive forward. Over to you finally, Roger, just to close us out. Yeah, I think that's a really important view. Sometimes you may not like the answers on the on what the feedback you get, but every bit of feedback is a gift. I'd view it that way. And so it's very important that you use that to actually improve your performance, which ultimately improves the team's performance. And as we said at the start, if you get this right, if you really focus on that employee voice and get the two-way dialogue, there's a huge amount of benefit that comes. You know, the heart of this employee engagement, it enables you to develop that continuous improvement culture. You know, if you imagine there's people who may be like this at the moment, you're at loggerheads what it actually helps you to do is actually to improve the way they work together so you're actually cohesive as a team so uh, as usual our call to action is go and do it you know go and review your current performance your current uh, uh, process on raising ideas as Murray said you know do you have a tool Uh, so go go do it and what we're going to do in the comments is actually put a link to that software that we mentioned that would be worth you checking out and do as usual go and view the uh, the longer video we really appreciate all the comments we've had before um, on on the previous video so if you want to put a comment in um, in the comments on LinkedIn or alternatively like before give us a call or speak to us or drop us an email we're very much appreciative of that Um, so that's great so hopefully you'll get a lot out of this speak to you next time